this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine. Welcome back to another episode from our segment, Data Science as a Career. And in today's video, we will be talking about how to ace a telephonic interview. Several companies today are conducting phone interviews as a first round to screen candidates before calling them for a face-to-face -face interaction. And many candidates get rejected in this round and do not make it further. So let's go ahead and find out why and how this can be avoided. Coming to the first point, choose a good spot. Companies generally tell you in advance when they will be calling. Choose a room where you can speak without disruption. But if the call happens to be while you are working and are uncomfortable to take an interview call in your office, you can always request the recruiter for a time of your convenience. It is very important to be in your comfort zone to feel confidence. You do not want to be whispering on an interview call, instead talk without any inhibitions. Moving on, keep your documents ready. Keep a copy of your resume and the job description with you. The recruiter also will have a copy of your resume in front of him and may ask you questions like, walk me through your resume. Or, in 2018, according to your resume, you worked on this project. Can you describe it? At this point, you don't want to seem confused or unsure about anything written on your resume. So it becomes very important to go through your resume before you take an interview of any kind. Also, don't forget to keep a pen and paper handy in order to note down anything important. Moving on, using a cheat sheet. This is like the oldest trick in a book when it comes to telephonic interviews. One of the great advantages of a phone interview is invisibility. Prepare for expected questions in advance and jot down points on a piece of paper. Write clearly and legibly since you will be referring to it under pressure. Practice the answers to expected questions beforehand. This will help you get over your nervousness and seem confident. The most common questions that you can prepare for are, tell me about yourself. They are not asking about the story of your life. Instead, focus on the projects that you've been working on and what work of the company excites you. Coming to the next point, stability issue. This can also be an extension of the previous point. For example, if in your three years of experience, you have changed three different jobs it is considered a red flag for most companies. In the telephonic round, they will try and check if you indeed had a valid reason for switching jobs or you have a stability problem. Be very careful in this case and it's always better to jot down the reasons and make it sound genuine. And a very important point here, never to badmouth your previous company or your job. Not even statements like the management was disorganized. Do not do that, it gives a very bad impression about you. Whatever the reason may be, keep it genuine and pertaining only to you. Coming to the next point, be in a positive frame of mind. This may seem a little odd, but smile. Though the interviewer cannot see you, it is not difficult to sense your mood over the phone. If you feel happy, bright and enthusiastic, this will reflect in your voice. Also, do not extensively lie on your resume about any skill because you might just be called upon that which would make you very, very nervous. Coming to the next point, do your research. Always go through the company portal and the LinkedIn accounts of the heads of some important departments. Read the job description and understand the job role before taking up any sort of interview. Moving on to our final point, ask intelligent questions. After you are done with your interview, your interviewer will typically ask if you have any questions. This is a chance for you to showcase your intelligence. You could ask questions on the role you are being interviewed for, company branding or its strategy to beat market slump. And you can only do this if you've done the previous step of doing your research. Also, do not discuss salary. It is too early in the interview process to be discussing that. Now, how do you end a phone interview? At the end of the interview, always ask the interviewer if he has any more questions for you. If not, ask what the next step in the hiring process will be. With that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.